So let's uh, quickly talk about solar generators and, and actually charging these solar generators, especially the DIY ones. Um, this is my version 3 solar generator. It is a 2.1 kilowatt battery with a 1500 watt inverter, multiple USB ports, fans, meters, everything you could want. Um, this is as powerful, if not more powerful, than pretty much all the commercial solar generators. And I, I did a few videos on, the, on building this and um, I've been very happy with this. Now, this is my version 3. My version 2, I actually gave to a friend of mine who is a huge uh, camper and hunter and stuff like that and he has been loving the solar generator. It's actually one of his you know, favorite tools. <laughs> he even um, plugs a uh, heated blanket into his solar generator at night when he's camping for to get um, and it keeps him nice and toasty and and the solar generator has no problems providing power throughout the night for his heated blanket and and uh, it's been working great for him however he has inquired about um, charging the solar generator while he's in the field while he's out camping and hunting so my solar generators did not actually have solar built into them. I have solar on my house and I have a I actually have a an outlet right here on my workbench that is connected to my solar system and built and this is actually designed for a 7S 29 volt battery and that's what my solar charge controller on my wall is configured for and so I can actually plug this right into this and it it'll charge up. Um, there is no portable solar charging in my solar generators. But he inquired about charging these packs in the field and I've been uh, investigating and going to do some upgrades for him. And uh, this is what I have. Let me show you. First and foremost is the solar panel. And I've found this and this is pretty awesome. This is a folding 100 watt solar panel. It's in this nice carrying case with handles. Um, it has its wiring that comes right out the side, some, XT, some XT60s. And right here it's going to a barrel plug. Um, and it's got about, you know, seven feet of cord. And it all tucks right nicely in the side of the case. And let me open it up for you. You can see it just opens up into a, a nice 100 watt solar panel that, you know, he can just rest on top of his camping trailer or on top of his, his pickup or whatever and, you know, pick up, pick up sunlight and, and charge away. And this thing is pretty awesome. I am getting really good efficiency out of this. I mean... It's the dead of winter, sun is barely out. At 9 a.m. this morning, I was, this, this 100 watt panel was putting 60 watts into my test battery. And um, it's not even a particularly you know, warm day or, or, or the sun isn't particularly bright. So I've been very happy with, with the efficiency of this panel. And, um, um, but anyways, as you, if, if, if you know anything about solar, the panel is just part of the um, equation. The other part of the equation is the solar charge controller. Um, and so I finally got one of these uh, MPT 7210As. Um, the, you know, a few YouTubers have messed with these. These are about the cheapest um, MPT solar charge controller you can get. And the interface is a bit awkward and it really took me playing with it and actually YouTube, checking YouTube on how to program it. But now I sort of got the hang of it and I understand it and, and um, it's been doing a good job. It's, and it's got a few interesting features that are pretty, pretty great for the project I'm using it on. Now, w the very important is this is a boost solar charge controller. It's going to take a lower solar panel voltage and boost it to your battery voltage, which is important for me because my solar charge controllers are nearly 30 volts and an actual solar panel is probably 20 volts. 
So I need to boost the voltage. And this is a boost um, solar charge controller. The, the solar charge controller that I have on my power wall, that is a buck charge controller. I, you know, I send at 70 volts from my panels outside and it brings that voltage down to 30 volts to charge my power wall. This is a boost. It's taking in 20 volts and boosting it to 30 volts, which is exactly what I need. So, um, you know, I, that solar panel has a, has a um, barrel jack and here is a barrel, you know, female barrel jack connector, which goes right in for the solar panel and out to the battery. Um, this wires come loose, but I'll fix that in a second. Um, but yeah, on my testing, this thing has been pretty nice and, and doing a good job. So let me configure how to uh, show you this thing in action and, uh, you know, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm outside. I've just laid the panel in the grass facing the sun. The sun is very low in the sky and so it's not going to produce too much energy, but it's enough for testing. And let me show you around this charge controller. Now, unfortunately, I think the screen is going to be flashing in here, but that's just the refresh rate of the camera. That's The screen is not flashing in real life. But let me uh, show you around right now. The top line is your uh, solar charge, solar voltage. Second line is the voltage you want to charge your battery to. Third line is the amps that you are, max amps you want to supply. Um, and then this is just battery information about how many amp hours you've put in, how long it's been running for. Um, there's the off function. And then you can actually store your settings into settings 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So you can have different profiles for different batteries saved in here. But, you know, I can just uh, turn it on right now. There is a fan. The fan is a little loud. Um, but there you go. You can see the wattage is kicking up. Um, yeah, it's only 15 watts right now. Not a lot. But, uh, again, the sun is low and... and um, um, you know, not a lot of sun right now, but that's fine. Um, but it's charging away and, and bringing the, the battery pack up. Um, now, let me show you how the interface works. Let me turn it off. Okay, so you press set to figure out what number you want, which, which um, save state you want to be in. Then you press set again to set your battery, your, your um, open circuit voltage of your solar panel. You press set again to go to the voltage of your battery and you press up or down to, to set it. There's the amperage of the battery, press up or down to set it. Press and hold to jump into the secondary settings. This is the screen timeout. This is the max amp hours of your battery max charge time you want to set and then it um, if you want to lock the settings uh, and then it jumps up again to this is your save state zero and you press OK to save state zero and it'll always boot up into save state zero and whatever these settings are it will um, set them um, and you can also ch make it so that whether it auto starts charging when you plug in the solar or not. The nice thing about this is this box is actually powered by the solar, not by the battery. What that means is if I disconnect the solar, it turns off. Even though it is still plugged into the battery, it turns off if I disconnect the solar. Well, that is great for a solar charge controller. That means you can leave this in the solar charge controller and have it permanently wired to the battery and not worry about it being on and drawing a current because it does not turn on if it is, doesn't have solar. And then you could have like a barrel jack on the side of your solar charge control, uh, yeah, your solar generator, and then you go and you plug in solar and it turns on and you can see it immediately, not only did it turn on, but it went into charge mode and there we go, the wattage is flowing in. So you can just plug in your solar on the go and charge it up um, 
and uh, it you know as soon as you plug in your solar it will start charging as soon as you disconnect your solar this will shut off and and turn turn right off so this thing is actually perfect for a solar generator you know it only turns on when you plug in mm -hmm. solar and automatically turns off when you disconnect the solar so um, I'm pretty happy with this thing and and uh, yeah I can build this into one of my my packs for my friend and we'll go from there you know and so you know the nice thing about this setup is when you're done you just fold the panel up clip it up and throw it in the back of the travel trailer and um, it takes up no space it folds flat has the protective cushioning canvas bag on the outside to protect the solar panels so yeah I think this is a really nice um, setup